Hello, my friends. So this week for our social emotional learning skill, I thought it would be good to talk about something called mindfulness. And I know during uncertain times like these, it's so easy for us to get overwhelmed. I know sometimes I find myself worrying about the future or missing the past. Um, and I feel helpless because I can't change the things that are happening now, even though I might want to. For example, us not being in school, right? I get super worried about the future, what that means for all my students as well as myself. And also I just miss the past and being in the classroom with you guys. So if you ever feel like that about anything, you can use this strategy to help calm yourself and focus on the present moment. And I think that's important because when I am really present in the moment and focused on what's happening now, it's easier for me to be happy and just accept the things going on in the world around me. So let's start off with some breathing techniques. First things first, go ahead and take two fingers, put them together like this, and you're going to find the spot where your two ribs meet. So find that spot and just press ever so gently on it. We're gonna breathe in, two, three, four, Hold it and out, two, three, four. One more time in, two, three, four. Hold it and out, two, three, four. Awesome, now close your eyes. We're gonna use our five senses one by one to focus on the things that are happening here right now. So first things first, I wanna know what you can hear. If I listen closely, I can hear cars passing by outside. It sounds like they're driving through some water because it's snowing. What do you hear? And then what can you smell? If I breathe in deeply, I can almost smell the bacon that Mr. A cooked for breakfast. What can you feel? My hand right now is on an old wooden table. Let's see, I can taste, hmm. I was drinking coffee just a minute ago. If I focus closely, I can almost taste it still. And now open your eyes, look around you. What are the things you see right in the same room with you? Those are the things that we should focus on when we're being mindful. Now I'm going to make a chart to help me tell the difference between the past, present, and future. And you can make one on a piece of paper if you want, or you can just use your words and tell someone at home about it. So let's see. In the past, hmm, what happened in the past? I'm going to draw us at school. And these are all my students sitting on the rug. So that was the past, right? Something that happened in the past. Now for present, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw me looking out my window. Hold a coffee cup in my hand. And then in the future, I can draw, I'm gonna draw me back at school again. And I'm saying, yay. 
because I just got back to school. What would you draw in your past, present, and future? So after doing this exercise, I need to remember, even though it's fun for me to look back at the past, and maybe sometimes could be helpful to look forward to the future, this is the present moment and this is what I really need to be focusing on. There is nothing I can do to change the, situ the current situation. So um, I'm just going to try and enjoy the things happening right now. And when there is something I can do for the future, that's when I'll do it.